Hi everyone. I want to say Happy New Year, Happy 2018 to all of you out there. Thank you so much for watching my videos and liking them and sharing them and subscribing them. Max wanted to come up and say Happy New Year. He said Merry Christmas. So Happy New Year from me and my sweet little doggy Max. Hope you have a great new year. Hi Aries, Happy New Year and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for the new year of 2018 plus January of 2018. This recording is for Aries Sun, Aries Ascendant and Aries Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. I'm using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck and I've pulled one card for each quarter of the year and January is the fifth card of this month of 2018. So I hope this reading will be helpful to you. Now on to your reading for the new year of 2018. All right, Aries, first card you have here, Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is a card that means scattered energy, scattered thinking, scattered emotions, may have trouble in making a decision or a choice in some way. You're repeating some patterns in the first quarter of the new year. These could be patterns of behavior you have at work or any like addictive behaviors you might have could be kicking up uh, or you're just scattered. Too much on your plate, Aries, in your mind anyway. You are going to have to use discernment because people are going to come across as harsh to you or misunderstanding you like what's up with you they're not going to get you or and they may be rude to you too some people i hate to say that i don't i don't like saying negative things and i know nobody wants to hear it but i tell you these things to forewarn you not to manifest it as some people have said that's what i do but i don't that's not my intention so i don't believe that i'm doing it you're starting to figure out some details about some things that were lost and now they're going to be found again. Could be information, data, money, uh, accounts, uh, I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you Aries out there. Any secret dealings or behind the scenes activities or conversations are going to come out into the open. You're not the first sign to get that. There's another sign that got it. It may have been Gemini. There might have been another one also. I've heard this before for this year. So this is affecting some people. You may have to walk away from something that's harmful for you. It could be a person, a living situation, uh, a drug, an addiction, uh, a relationship of any kind, work, what, whatever is unhealthy for you, you're going to have to make the decision uh, to walk away from it. Some of you, it's really time for you to propose, engage, get engaged, settle down, start living with somebody. It comes up for some of you Aries, like it's time for you to do that now. That's the... Uh, call out from the universe to you. Now, if you're already doing it, well, then that message doesn't apply for you because this is for those that aren't really doing it. Like buying a house with someone, cohabitating with them, getting married, getting engaged. Some of you not doing that, but living together. I don't know, but it's coming up here with this seven of cups. And it's also having to decide about what, where you're going to live. Maybe one of you needs to decide, are you moving in with me? Am I moving in with you? Or are we getting a totally different place? That's, that's some of you is why this Seven of Cups is here. 
All right, Aries, the second quarter of the year of 2018, you have the Fool. And this is <clears throat> starting out on a new path and a new journey with high hopes and aspirations. But you have to have your wits about you because you don't want to fall off the cliff. You need to be grounded and focused and not have your head up in the clouds. Anything that in you that was oppressed or repressed is <clears throat> coming out. You're going to be walking a different way, talking a different way, singing a different song. Things are changing majorly with you, majorly in 2018. Some of you may do something absolutely crazy, like I'm moving out into the wilderness on top of a mountain in Peru, and I'm going to live with Peruvian Indians and give, renounce all my worldly goods and live in the mountains with uh, <clears throat> the nomadic kind of life or something like that. And people are going to be like, what? I mean, I'm not saying that's what all of you are doing, but it's to that level that people are going to be like, wow, what's up with Aries? You may start speaking a different language. That's another thing. Because some of you, maybe you're learning foreign language or you're going to be using it all the time. I don't know, but some of you that comes up. You're going to be wanting to impress people, to show people how brilliant you are, how talented, what you, what you got going on, um, strutting your stuff, kind of like a peacock, letting everybody see, you know, what you're all about that energy also comes up here for you and this is the second quarter but really aries it could be any time or it could be going on through the whole year of 2018 it's possible some of you are being manipulated and controlled by somebody uh in 2018 and very likely in the second quarter so somebody's trying to maneuver you get you to do what they want you to do uh, maybe it's in a good way i mean it could be somebody you care about, but this could be in so many ways. Oh, my. So many. <laughs> uh, so you just have to figure out how it's how you're getting manipulated. It's like you have to watch out this year for do doing something so way out. Seriously. So. Some of you Aries and Aries rising people are getting ready to, whew, not necessarily in a bad way, but I feel like people are going to be surprised by you uh, or what you're doing. I don't know, but it comes up strong. You may also be taking a lot of things out on other people at this time when you're going off on your adventures. You may have anger or hostility. You start taking out on somebody else in your life. So be very guarded about that. It's a caution for you, something to notice, uh, and then you cannot do it. So here's the death card next. Now, this could be transformation, something ending, so something new could begin. It can also be um, somebody could have passed away might have already happened could be a relative anybody anybody that would mean something to you um, but your life could be transforming you're going to find in this third quarter of the year that everybody's going to be seeking your counsel uh, wanting your opinion wanting your advice wanting this wanting that but <clears throat> that's not all of you some of you there will be people that will be doing that your way like you may feel like your dear abby uh, <clears throat> or everybody's private therapist you may feel like people are shining you on or taking advantage of you but you might not be sure of whether that's what they're doing it's very unusual it's you're also going to be putting people on notice about how to keep their distance from you too. You might feel like, I feel like at some junctures when you're angry or worked up, <clears throat> you're going to be putting out signals that you want people to, 
you know, back off. You're, you're going to be on some kind of like high alert. Like something's happened and everybody is in a kind of walking like as if they're in a dream. That kind of energy. Uh, people aren't going to have it together around you. So whatever this event is, whatever happens, it's going to put people in a fog and people are going to behave in odd ways, uh, do and say things that seem out of character. It's going to cause some weird, mysterious things going on in your life here in the third quarter for some of you. It really could happen at any point. Many of you Aries are going to have some brilliant ideas that are going to catapult you and propel you in your future to success, advancement, whatever word you like, it's going to make you feel like you've got something going. you got something going on. That's the feeling. So something you've been trying to achieve, some dream you've had, some ideal you wanted to fulfill, it's happening. I don't know that it's going to happen like bam in one big shot. It could for some of you, but for some of you, it's an evolution. That's what I say. So now the next card, I just, man, you had two, you got a couple rough cards here, Aries. Now I know, okay, now you're going to leave the video, right? But life, just like a psychic reading is going to go have good and bad up and down, just like life. Not every card is going to be good. And some of these things are, so you're forewarned. So when they start to happen, your mind has already had time to, process what you might want to choose it's not to create it it's to help you figure out if it shows up for you what you can do you got nine of swords this is grieving something so you did have it right after the death card okay um it could be the end of a relationship you're grieving somebody could have passed away maybe you're having migraines uh you could have um trouble sleeping, um, you could be worrying about your health, you could be worried about somebody else's health. The Nine of Swords means many things. Um, some of you, it, it's because there's people that are causing hindrances and that feel like annoying to you. And, I, and with motivation behind it, like they're intentionally doing it, not accidentally it's a result of something else they're purposely doing it it's like you need more time you need more time to breathe you may feel like you feel oppressed or uh, worried about something and maybe somebody's pressuring you or something that has gone down didn't feel good um, you need more time to like adjust to what's transpired you may feel like a lot of people have been in your life interfering with you whether they intended to do it or they didn't and it was just an accidental interfere um you may feel like you need a vacation a break a time to uh, like get away go away for a few days go somewhere get your mental state in clear focus there might be somebody around you at this time that needs your focus and attention also at the same time or either that's what's going on or there's multiple things because it's like maybe you have a child you need to attend to and focus on even though other things are going on that may be disruptive uh, or you have something going on and you have to look after elderly parents or, you know, I don't know, other responsibilities. There may be things tied up emotionally speaking, like jealousy, uh, anger, resentment. They, they're, some of those emotions could be tied up here. And the next card you have, Aries, is the Five of Rods. And the Five of Rods is an, an 
internal struggle in you. It could be a struggle with coworkers and family members or with any groups or clubs or organizations you belong to. You may feel like there's people taking advantage of you in January because this card is for January this month. You might be fighting with people that say something needs to end or come to some kind of completion. That could have been that could be an area of what you're wrangling about. Some of you, if you have any trouble with kidney stones or gallstones, um, that might happen or kick up. If you have that condition, sometimes people have those. You may, you might have a flare up in January. I see you getting a handle on how to handle things. And you're going to start to make motions and overtures that precipitate change in your life. Some of you get new relationships. Some of you will end up with a whole new pile of friends. Your determination is going to be higher than ever, than ever in 2018. You're going to know what you want and you will go for it, go after it. You may feel like you're having to deal with one or more people that have real bipolar uh, swings, whether they technically have it medically or it's just the way their moods are going. You may wish you understood somebody better, more clearly, like got them better. You may feel like your world's a little complicated then. A lot of people have different opinions, saying different things. Maybe some people are being judgmental. And some, you may have some people saying to you, Aries, you should be doing something different. Like people might not be agreeing with something you're doing and they might feel like it's their right to tell you that. But I do feel that if you go away, you will have a fabulous vacation if you can. If you can do that in 2018 at any point, it's going to be amazing and you'll wish you had gone there sooner. So, and also take your time and reassess everything before you sign any important documents in 2018. Look at them carefully and have lawyers look at them as well. Okay, so I hope this reading was of help to you. I hope it made sense. I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please remember to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. If you would like to get another Psychic Tarot reading just like this one, where I'm using the Aquarian Tarot deck and pulling five cards, one card for each quarter of the year, and the fifth card is just for the month of January 2018, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the Show More section, and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on-demand page for the new year of 2018 plus January 2018 Psychic Tarot reading for each sign of the Zodiac for download and purchase. You can also access these videos by going to my website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Click on the videos tab on my menu, which is a drop down menu. Go to page 12 and there you will see the headings for these videos. You just click on your sign and it will take you to that video on Vimeo. I wish you a happy new year in 2018, Aries. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.